All right, hello everyone. Uh, today I wanted to do a video on using Motive Wave um, to trade multiple different accounts and even account sizes with Apex Trader Funding. Now, Apex Trader Funding allows you to have up to 20 funded accounts at one time, and it's really easy to use with the software Motive Wave. Motive Wave has um, a built in trade copier. So, I'm going to walk you through that. First, Apex Trader Funding. If you want to go ahead and uh, sign up for some um, evaluations to gain funding with them, I have a link in the description below. So they've been a great company to work with. Um, I think they have a lot of really good different account sizes depending on what you are trying to achieve. So give them a look. Um, they probably have something that would be beneficial to you. So um, first over here on the Motive Wave website, the trade copier account starts with the order flow. Um, edition. So you need to at least have this. That's what I'm currently using. You can see all of the things that are included with each edition of the Motive Wave software. And this is the last one, Trade Copier. That's where it starts. So um, you need to make sure you have that or higher. Uh, Motive Wave oftentimes will have really good sales during holidays, like they did for Black Friday, it was like a 30% off. So if you're kind of hesitant to buy, um, just check back around holidays and uh, every now and then they have some good deals if you're looking for that. Otherwise, sign up for it right now for a cheaper monthly or at this monthly price. And then when they do go on sale, um, you can get the discount. So I highly re recommend this software. I run it uh, on my Macintosh and it runs super smooth. Um, it's also available for PC. They do have a mobile app. I don't use that as much. I'm not as uh, in tune with it as I would like, but that uh, is something that I'll be checking out um, in the near future. So let's jump right in. So I have Motive Wave open, and you can see I have right now I have seven accounts with Apex. They're all in the funded phase. So that means I am eligible to make money and withdraw money. And I have different account sizes as well. So I have as small as a 25K account with them and as big as a 150K account. So obviously, I, I don't consider it smart to trade my 25K account the same as I do my 150K accounts. So sometimes I want to build it so I'm only trading my two 150K accounts, like I'm trading the actual E-mini and I'm scalping or trading those. They have a little more wiggle room for... Um, drawdown and stop losses where my smaller accounts, I do not want to risk that much. So I want to trade them all differently. So, but also at the same time, there's times where I want to trade them all at the same time, but maybe use micros and have the larger accounts taking more contracts and the smaller accounts taking fewer contracts on the micros. You can do that all within this software. So let's walk you through it. I do have a couple already built that I use right now, but we're just going to start and we're going to build one um, a trade copier that will be used for all of them. And then I'll walk you through how you can do an exit strategy um, to make it different sizes for each account. So here we go. You go up to file new trade copier account. And you can name this. We can name this YouTube demo. Now, here's where you're going to want to know what your lead account is going to be. So this uh, account 10 is actually my 25k account. So I don't really want, well, actually we can use this one as a, that sounds great. We'll use that one as the lead account. So now in here, account nine is one of my 50k accounts. So I want it to trade the exact same as this 25k account. My account eight is actually a 150k account. So I want it to be trading higher numbers. I'm going to put it at four. So that way for every one micro I buy with this main account here, this lead account, it's going to buy four on my 150k account. And I'm going to keep going down. And this is all dependent on how many accounts you have on how you want to build this. But my account four is a 50k account. My account three is a 50k account. So I want it to all be the same. And account two is a 150K account. So I'm also going to do it to four. And then account one is a 50K account. So you can see for the majority of them, it's going to buy one contract. And for the 150K account, it's going to buy four contracts. 
The other cool thing you could do if you wanted to cross trade and say, if I made my lead account one of my 150K accounts, I could cross trade these other ones in the micros. So every uh, one E mini, it would trade one uh, micro, but that's something you can dig into. But right now I'm just gonna set this up. We're all gonna trade the micros at the same time. I'm just gonna trade more um, with this account. So I hit okay. Now you can see over here in my accounts tab, it shows a YouTube demo. And that's the trade copier we just set up. So again, you can double click to open it to review. Um, got it set up nicely so all my accounts are matched. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven total accounts that this trade copier is gonna manage. Now let's go over here. I'm gonna pull up a 15 minute NQ. It's actually the micro MNQ. So that's great. That's what we were kind of setting up for. And I'm gonna choose my account down here as YouTube demo. So now I am controlling all of the accounts that we set up in this trade copier. I already have an exit strategy that I've built um, to take when I take a, a trade in the micros. So uh, we're just gonna walk through this. However, what I'm going to do is I want to have my smaller accounts trade two micros and my larger accounts trade eight. So the way, remember we set that up where the larger accounts are gonna trade four per each one of the smaller ones. So that will give me that what I'm looking for. So let's just hypothetically say, I wanna enter long down here. So I'm gonna place my order. And you can see right here, it's showing two micros. I'm gonna buy here, it has a take profit and take profit two and has my stop loss down here. It's really nice. I can adjust it um, if I wanna change it. Um, so let's say we put that there, but I thought we wanted to order double it on those larger accounts. Well, we do, right? It's, um, remember the larger accounts, if I were to check it and switch it from our trade copier to that individual 150K account, you can see it's gonna buy eight. And same with the other one that we have 150K, it's gonna buy eight. It's gonna have stop or take profit with four and four and stop losses built in. And then for my smaller accounts, it's two. So that's just something you guys can set up. Um, super easy with Motive Wave to do this sort of thing. Um, I find it super beneficial, um, especially with, the, with how quick these markets are moving. Um, the micros give you a lot of um, better trade entries. You can take um, smaller size, um, really let your account grow smaller, um, not as quick, but you're also not, you're not risking as much. So um, you can definitely set this up to trade all E-minis if that's what you're interested in. But I suggest you start with the micros, you start with your trade demo or your um, trade copier, get it comfortable trade the micros and make sure everything's working smoothly and you got the hang of it before switching to something that can just wreck your account. So anyways, I really hope you found this video helpful. Um, with Apex, again, you can have up to 20 accounts funded at one time. You could have them all trade copying the same thing. So that's something that, you know, maybe in the future I'll get up to. I got seven right now and be taking uh, payouts on those. So uh, yeah. Anyways, consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel. I'll be doing more Motive Wave videos in the future. And obviously, i um, big fan of Apex Trader funding. Um, so if you're interested, use that link and code in the description. Doesn't cost you anything. It gets you the best discounts available on the Apex website, and it really helps support this channel. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'm happy to help out. So have a great day.